for Wheeling University Athletics. I'm Zach Ziegler. We are live in Charleston for the 2023 MEC Baseball Tournament, joined by Wheeling University head baseball coach Ryan Lewicki for the Ryan Lewicki Show. And Ryan, you guys pull out a big win against West Liberty today for your first win of the tournament, first MEC tournament win in program history. Talk about today's game and kind of what you saw from your guys. Yeah, truthfully, it was the opposite of yesterday, you know, where I felt like against Concord, we controlled a lot of the game, dominated most of it, and just couldn't do enough to hold a lead and win a game late. And then it also was kind of flipped today, where I felt like through five innings, West Liberty did a really good job of controlling us. And, and they kind of had momentum and were playing really good baseball, and we couldn't find our stride. But, you know, I think what the biggest thing was is couldn't we get enough good pitching throughout the game today to give us a chance late? And that's what happened. You know, our, we used a lot of arms today just to try to hold them in check. It worked for for most part of this game, and it gave our offense a chance to get some big timely hits. And, you know, talk about we only having three in a game and two being really big. Well, they were big today. So it's exciting. I'm just glad for the players. I'm glad for the coaches, you know, getting this kind of like monkey off our back. But we're just excited to to be continually playing baseball in this tournament and giving ourselves another day to fight. And you mentioned those arms. Hunter Dick comes in huge out of the bullpen, giving you two and a third innings. Cody McCarley, who started game one of the tournament, comes back, throws four today. Talk about those two and kind of how they were able to come from game one and then into game two. Yeah, Hunter, you know, only having to use him for a batter yesterday. Um, It wasn't 100%, but still felt like he could give us some good innings. And the biggest thing was, you know, it's an elimination game. So, you know, we don't need to use our closer if we're not winning. So we thought the first time we need to get to really an arm early, let's go to him. Let's get him some innings, get him some work. You know, two and a third of really good just attacking hitters um, and giving us some zeros when we needed it early. And then Cody, yeah, you know, had a really good outing yesterday, opening four good innings for us. And the biggest thing was trying to keep him fresh, not burning him day one of a tournament and just giving him some time to get back in the bump. And he wanted the baseball again. So we felt like if we can get to hopefully the seventh without using him, great. Today was the sixth, and then he threw, gave four good innings for us. And then looking at the offense, you mentioned just three hits, but two of those being the home run from Ancelette and then the other home run from Killens. Talk about the offense today and how they were able to come through in those key situations. Yeah, it's tough. Anytime you see an arm twice, you feel like an offense would have an advantage. The tough part with Brady today does a really good job spinning the baseball and, and we struggle sometimes with spin and, and being able to trust ourselves and see it deep and use the whole ballpark because we really like to get our foot down and go but today you know again he did good and we had to find ways to battle you know the big inning for us you know they kind of frankly gave it to us you know an air with one out hit another guy and then you know Nick comes up and gets a you know I think either a first or second pitch fastball over the heart of the plate and, and did what he should and then let's go to Killens' home run same thing they really gave it to us because Craig did a good job walking a seven or eight pitch at bat to get on base with nobody out same thing Killens 1-0-2-0 gets a pitch over the heart of the plate and does what he should um, so if we could do that more often it'd be great um, but today you know the two big you know two of three hits today were big and you know when we played them last weekend we hit four home runs there. They were all solos. Like I told the team today, I said, the bright side today is the two that we got, they were big, and they were with runners on, and it capitalized for us. And to get this first tournament win, not only get that monkey off your back, but to do it against West Liberty, how big is that for this team? It's awesome. Like, it's just fun. Like there, There's nothing better than playing your rival, and then especially playing your rival in, in the tournament. So we knew there was going to be a ton of excitement, a ton of energy. I actually felt like we did a really good job of staying in check with ourselves because we can sometimes get caught up in that excitement. Um, and I just felt like we played good baseball. We just, you know, things weren't going our way early, and sometimes that's hard. But it was a great environment today. It was really fun to play nine innings of baseball against them. You know, obviously we're sticking around. They got another game tonight, so you never know. We could see each other again. Currently joined by Wheeling University head baseball coach Ryan Lewicki. And, Ryan, in these first two games of the tournaments, they've both been really close. What confidence does that give your guys knowing that they can play with this field? Yeah, I think that's been the story all year. I think because we sometimes can be inconsistent, we're in a lot of baseball games, whether we win them or lose them. So I don't think we're out of the norm or, or feeling like there's sort of pressure being in tight ball games. I think for us, it's just we got to be better later in games, and today we were, whereas yesterday we weren't. You know, we understand that we're not going to be perfect. We're not going to shut teams out. We're not built for that. We're built for grinding out long games and and grinding out at bats and trying to minimize big innings the other way. So the biggest thing is keep teams in check for as long as we can, get our offense confident, get our, our guys seeing pitchers maybe two times through, three times through, and we'll get to our big innings like we did today. So... Yeah, I don't think we struggle or we stri- or we, we fail in these, these tight games as pressure. I think we kind of thrive through it. I think the biggest thing is we got to stick to playing our game. 
And you guys now getting ready to face the University of Charleston tomorrow. Talk about that matchup a little bit going to the semifinal round. It's simple. You want to win an you know an MEC championship. You got to beat Charleston probably at some point. You know they're they're the the favorite in our league, the top twenty five a week ago. They're going to be a challenge, and I think it's exciting though. You know because if we want to make a regional and, and win this thing, we're going to have to go through them at some point. So. It'll be a good matchup. It'll be a test for us. I know they have a starter they haven't used yet, so that's probably who we'll see. Uh, we'll continue to, to make sure our staff's ready and make sure our offense is, is, you know, as confident and as aggressive as we can. So I think it'll be a great matchup. It'll be intense. It'll be exciting. You'll see probably a good crowd tomorrow, knowing that it's a Saturday with UC, kind of the home venue and us. So I think it'll be an exciting ball game. We owe them one, but they're not going to give it to us. So you know, we got to go pitch to pitch. We got to have a good approach. We got to play fundamental defense, play for some big innings, and at the end of the day, just enjoy being, you know, continuing playing together. And in order to get that MEC championship, you guys need three wins here in the next couple of days. Talk about some of your keys and how your team's going to strive to get those three wins. Yeah, I, it's going to be a grind. You know, three wins in two days, but let's be honest, college baseball is built that way. You're built to play a lot of games in a short amount of time, and you're built to play and, and, you know, not normal weathers or not normal settings. So I think for us, it's just three more baseball games that we hopefully continue to get to play. For us to win them, it, it, it's simple. We have to keep minimizing big innings as a defense, allow our pitchers to go pitch with confidence, play really good behind them. And offensively, we got to stick to being us. You know, when we get out of us and we don't play our style and we get aggressive on things we shouldn't, we sometimes struggle. But again, I think we're going to be ready for the test tomorrow. I think we're excited to be playing baseball. I think we're excited to be competing for an MEC championship. And we'll be ready to go to work tomorrow morning at 11. Thanks, Ryan. Good luck the rest of this tournament. Can't wait to see you out there. Thank you. For Wheeling University Athletics, I'm Zach Ziegler.